our mission here is to observe, monitor, report all activities along the Macedonian-Serbian border, which starts from uh, 51 Bravo, right here, working its way all the way up to 51 Charlie. Um, in support of the United Nations Resolution 795, and we do that uh, also by ensuring that the stability of Macedonia will not be undermined. Uh, a lot of people would tell you, well, you're just patrolling up the mountains, but not necessarily so. We also patrol into uh, small towns uh, within our area of, of uh, patrols or area of responsibility. Echo 525 out. We're on our way. It's more or less a show of force, not necessarily to the Serbians, but an effort to uh, show ourselves to the people in Macedonia that uh, we are here for support if they ever need it. It's something when you roll through a town in your Humvee and you're going somewhere and there's four or five kids playing soccer and at least three of them call your name out. And that's, that's something I'll never forget as long as I live. I mean, I've got a picture with me and those those kids, and uh, I think I'll be 80 years old sitting on my, sitting in my rocking chair on my porch, and that'll be something I'll drag out and look at just one more time and wonder whatever happened to those kids. I'll tell you the truth, I kind of came in the infantry, getting the mess of things, but now I'm uh, over here at peacekeeping. I kind of want to be in the action, do more high-speed stuff, high-speed training, but then again, it goes back to uh, just kind of give me experience. So uh, in this case, the real thing happens. I'm getting experience as a peacekeeper. Not saying that I necessarily want experience as a peacekeeper. Not in any way now do I want to be in a combat zone. I think that only a fool would say that. But if I have to be out here doing my job, I would prefer to be doing what I'm trained to do and not being friendly friendly. I didn't come in the Army to be friendly. Our good relations in Nordic countries relates back more than 40 years in peacekeeping. And the tradition in peacekeeping is, is shared in, in, in many ways. We have a, in peacekeeping training, good cooperation within Nordic countries. My first, uh, first experience about the UN and peacekeeping was uh, when I was a small boy. And uh, one guy from uh, my home village, he went to he went to serve in Cyprus. And since that, I had uh, it in my mind. It has given us a very good reputation. Finland has been, uh, during the years, one of the leading uh, nationalities in peacekeeping. In in uh, in the places where the Finnish UN troops are working, they have a very good reputation. They get along with the people very well and the people, they, they like us. Generally, we are all together all the time. So we had to spend a lot of time here together. It's not always easy, but many times it's quite good too, because you get very close friends here too, that you can talk with and deal with. Me as a platoon leader here, I have a very good opportunity to see how to lead people. And I'm going to take it with me to the civilian profession too. So I think that it, it is a great honor to be a peacekeeper. It is some kind of heart, heart thing. <laughs> heart? Yeah. Can you say anything more about, elaborate that on just a little bit? Oh, no, no, I don't. I don't. It's a matter of the heart yeah. for you. Yeah, it is. Okay. 
peace is very important thing, I think so. <laughs> Our area has been peaceful, and there has been no signs of uh, Kosovo happenings. Happily, so, so we can say that we have fulfilled also our mission, keeping peace in this area. Yeah. Our troops have played a historical role in this country in keeping it stable, in giving people a sense of security, a sense of long-term perspective on their country. The Balkans, as I said, has been a real tough place, uh, especially in the last few years. And the fact that this country uh, was the one country able to separate from the former Yugoslavia without a shot being fired and to, and to keep it that way is a real testimony to what our guys have been able to do here. Somebody needs to be here. Um, again, everybody reads through history that most of the wars we've had have, have started in, this, in the Balkan region somewhere. I strongly believe in the United Nations as far as the conflicts of the world, they need to be worked out somehow. United, anybody can do anything. Alone, the U.S. can't do it all. I guess the easiest to say is the American flag has spread a calm across the whole, uh, the whole sector or the whole border. I really thought it was going to come down here and the whole place was going to be blown apart. And they said, you know, it's going to be a peacekeeping mission, but I still thought we'd come down here and be locked and loaded the whole time. And just a real scary six months, and it's been nothing like that. It's just 180 degrees different. To be uh, part of a mission that, that prevents fighting is, is worth every soldier we got down here. It's a fantastic mission. If it's boring here, we're doing our job. And we've been lucky enough that, yeah, it's, it's been sleepy here. You know, we'd prefer that it stays quiet. That, mean, that means our presence here is, is uh, doing its job. That blue beret you see running around uh, is uh, what keeps things this way. And as a Macedonian citizen, what's your feeling or sense of the peacekeeping mission? Are you, are you glad that this is going on in your country? Okay, it's my personal, I can say. Um, maybe this is the first time that the UN came on time. <laughs>